In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about creating your own brushes. This is a process that you can use that if you decide you maybe some of the brushes that are currently available inside of GIMP aren't meeting your needs, what you can do is you can actually create your own here. So the first thing that I've actually done is I've used all the way on the right hand side, I've changed my preview sizes. I decided to make those extra large just so you can see what's currently present for you inside of the brushes. Now another thing that you can do is if you so choose there are the options that yes you can go out say you know um, on GIMP and stuff like that or Google you know GIMP paint brushes there are tons of different options out there. But let's say for instance you want to just start by maybe creating your own. So you can click anywhere in the gray area here and what that will do is that's going to bring up a flyout menu for you where you can choose to create a new brush. Now it's going to just reopen right inside here and it's going to actually open what is called the brush editor. So in the brush editor you can start out with some basic shapes either you can start with a circle, a square, or a diamond and the first thing you can change is its radius, how wide you want it to be. So maybe I change this a little bit and actually you know what I'm going to start off with maybe a diamond here just so you can see that one. Now you've got this nice gradient effect but if you need to there is a hardness option that if you notice when taken all the way up you pretty much can change how hard the actual fill of the brush is. You can also change how many spikes on the brush so if you need more of kind of a starry fixture or if you want to leave it as is you know you have those options as well another thing you can do is you can change the angle on it a little bit if you like so you can spin it around you know if there's a certain angle that you'd like it to be when you start brushing with it and then some of the other things that if you were to have multiple lines as far as the aspect ratio, you could change as far as your spacing is concerned. So there you can see with the aspect ratio, I can make it more like a pinpoint or I can spread it out a little bit more. The last item to think about though, whenever you're making a brush as far as a brush shape is concerned, is right up here, right underneath all of the drop down editors. Right now, as you can see, it's called Untitled 2. I can actually come in and change this, and maybe I'll call this Triangle Design. So now when I go back under my Brushes tab, there you can see my brand new brush. So then it's now stored with the rest of the brushes with GIMP here. The only thing to be careful of is if you move to a different GIMP software package. So if you move from one computer to the other, you're going to need to remember that you're going to have to take your brushes with you. So you can continue to make multiple brushes as needed whenever you're creating designs in GIMP.